The 10th annual National Drive Electric Week is coming up and the nationwide celebration runs through October 4th of this year to raise awareness of the many benefits of all electric vehicles. This is really a national event that is community driven. It's, you know, we're in it the 10th year now nationally and it's really about raising awareness and education around electric vehicles and ideally in you know normal circumstances getting people to experience electric vehicles through ride and drive events with the goal right to uh, really get people behind the wheel get people to experience it and you know support the transition to the electric vehicle future cars trucks motorcycles anything they're really fun to drive they provide cost savings especially over the life cycle of the vehicle um, they're better for the environment promote local jobs and help us reduce our dependence on uh, imported fossil fuels. In my opinion, the benefits of driving electric are really threefold. One, there's the economic benefits in terms of reducing the cost of uh, owning and driving and maintaining the vehicle. So you can, you know, here in Hawaii, you can re reduce the cost of living in addition to or decrease in Hawaii's dependence on imported oils. In addition, there's the health and environmental benefits. You know, there's zero tailpipe emissions, not producing as much greenhouse gas emissions, which is making the air healthier for our local communities. And then the third point is really around helping move the state's goals. 100% clean transportation, it helps support the state's goal of carbon neutrality, and it helps support the state's 100% uh, renewable portfolio standard goal, because having more electric vehicles tied to the grid or connected to the grid can promote and enable the more integration of renewable energy. If you're interested in getting an electric vehicle, it's really important to find out how many miles a given vehicle can drive on a single charge, and then compare that to how many miles you drive throughout your day. And then also thinking about the charging options that are available to you. For example, if you can charge at home, the car really only needs to have enough miles on it for a day's worth of driving. And then you can go home and charge at night. To bolster the EV charging rebate program that the state has uh, graciously funded, uh, and we've partnered with Hawaii Energy to expand that program and target specifically uh, kind of lower income areas it's to EVs. Not only, you know, EVs shouldn't just be for the rich, they should be for everyone. Charging you know, is an obstacle in certain areas. So we partnered with Hawaii Energy to lower the cost uh, up to getting these more low income areas. So if you're interested, you can visit Drive Electric Hawaii's website for extensive information on the vehicles that are available, charging, utility rates, even community groups here in Hawaii where you can learn more. Brought to you by Ulupono Initiative and Hawaiian Electric.